for the five shots that were good. 37 points as ML Carr comes up for the second time around. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean David. Hello and good day to you all. How's it going? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name, of course, is Sean David, and I welcome you to your weekly dose of old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to take a look at the very first slam dunk contest and see if it was really as bad as many people claim it to be. But before we start with that, let me ask you guys for a small favor, please check out the video of today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare has thousands of online classes and members in more than 150 countries. You can find the subject you're interested in, unlock more creativity, get inspired to put your new skills to work in an impactful way. My favorites are videos of Elise, who helps marketing brands with videos and who help me reaching new audiences with her classes. She explained perfectly how to reach people with one minute videos through engaging stories. Stories. Now, more and more people are creating their own careers and Skillshare is the perfect way to start yours. The first 1,000 people to click on the link in the description box will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So honestly, you got nothing to lose. So what are you waiting for? Start your creative journey with Skillshare today. Now obviously the slam dunk contest has been going on for many years and it's kind of hard to say which decade had the best contests. But in my opinion it will always be the 1980s for a simple reason. They had the greatest superstars of their era. They had Michael Jordan, Dominic Wilkins, Clyde Drexler, Dr. J, so some of the greatest players of all time competing for the crown. Which you don't see anymore. Nowadays you have probably better dunks and more spectacular dunks. but players that I don't want to say nobody cares about but not the greatest superstars. Another thing that many people seem to forget is that the first slam dunk contest was actually not by the NBA but by the ABA. If you have never heard about the ABA it was the biggest rival of the NBA and it was a totally different league in terms of it was more wild, it was more creative, more free flowing. You had many superstars playing in the ABA before they actually came to the NBA and when the ABA and the NBA merged that's when the NBA NBA took over the slam dunk contest at the NBA All-Star Game. But let's take a look at the first dunk contest in the ABA one year prior to the NBA in 1976. Comprehension at six foot six for the New York Nets, the fabulous Dr. J. Julius Irving. Now as you can see some of the dunks weren't that bad and to me personally I think it was a great start to kick off the first dunk contest. But then one year later there was the first dunk contest of the NBA and that was a little bit different. You had some of the greatest superstars participating in the dunk contest. For example Kareem Abdul-Jabbar which when you think of slam dunks he's not the first name that comes to mind but at least he competed. But let's take a look at some of the worst dunks of that contest and there were plenty. Let's take a look. Preeminent player in pro basketball today, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Los Angeles Lakers. Seven feet two inches tall. Call him Dr. Duncan, Indiana, from San Jose State, 6'9", 215 pound, Darnell Hillman. All of them. All of them. Getting two 
for two and going for his third. Now, you don't have to dribble the ball. There's no violation called for traveling with the ball or palming the ball. Timing and concentration, the key to slam-dunking basketball. ML Carr with very good concentration as he eyes the basket, comes down and bangs down his last try. And here is the style point breakdown. 8-5, 8-5, and 8-5 for ML Carr of Detroit, 25.5 a total with his 10 points for successful shots of 35.5. Now let's watch Ron Lee, the man they call the Kamikaze Man from the Phoenix Sun. A superb all-around athlete. He was drafted by San Diego of the National Football League. He was drafted by Portland of the North American Soccer League, and he was, of course, the number one draft choice of the Phoenix Sun. Now, as you guys know, I'm a huge old school fan and I always defend the NBA from back in the day. But even I gotta admit, the first dunk contest was not the greatest. Partly because of the guys who competed, they were probably not the greatest dunkers of their era. And also, you gotta give the guys time to develop, so it wasn't the greatest. But I don't wanna finish the video with those dunks. I actually wanna finish the video with my favorite dunk contest of all time. Let's take a look. All right, everyone, Dominique is here. Hey, everybody. Pleasure to meet you. Thank How you. How so you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. What is this? Where, where are the Dominique prints? You said to only make them for the winner. Get those out of there. They gave Jordan a 50. He defends his championship. Dominique Wilkins got the short end of a very impressive There dunk. are going to be arguments all day long. First, only interview people who are in the building. And whatever you do, do not interview Julius Irving. He still thinks Mike Chicago won. Stadium just moments before the 1988 Gatorade Slam Dunk Championships. We have three of the champions from the four slam dunk competitions. He had some of the greatest dunkers to ever play the game uh, in the dunk contest that year. Well, they're on their feet in Chicago for this man, their man, defending champion, Michael Jordan. Michael walks into the arena and it's like Elvis walking into the arena. It's like Michael Jackson walking into the arena. We all knew we were, we were playing for second. You know, Dominique is a competitor. You can see in his eyes that uh, he loved competing against uh, Michael. I love Dominique, love Michael, made the best man win. I think it's going to be one of the better slam dunk competition that they ever seen. And I think it's going to be on. Let's get it on. Here we go, it's tricky to rock around, to rock around. That's right, on time, it's tricky. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Came out with a two-hand reverse dunk. You know, he kind of set the standard. And a 49 for Dominique Wilkins to put him in first place. He knew that he had to come out the box and the get a 49 or 50. now will be Dominique Wilkins, Michael Jordan, Clyde Drexler, and Otis Smith. Dr. J is the only one that have done that until Michael did it. It was tight, I think, until the free throw line up. And then there was nothing that Dominique could do to equal that. Mission control ready for launch. That brought Dominique to his feet. The crowd went crazy, obviously. For those people, it was a first time occurrence. It's just a matter of going through these dunks so that we can get to Dominique and Michael in the final. The guys that really brought it were, were Michael and, and Nick. Those were two of the players that I say were worth the price of admission alone just to see them perform. I knew it and the crowd knew it that it was going to come down to me and MJ. Okay, Dominique, we're about to get started. When you're talking, please look directly into the lens in front of you. How many questions are you going to ask about me and MJ's rivalry? Because that was a huge part of it. It wasn't just about the dunks. We loved playing against one another. There was a mutual respect. Whenever we were squaring off, you knew it was going to be epic. This is what the crowd's been waiting for. The championship round, Michael Jordan and Dominique Wilkins. This could be good. Let's enjoy this, because uh, this is like instant classic right here. The showcase was uh, home court versus the human highlight film. And uh, Dominique and Michael Jordan certainly put on a show. Michael Jordan won the coin toss, and he's going to let Dominique Wilkins go first. All right, you guys, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine. Vince Carter with his first shot. <laughs> Let's go home. Let's go home, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go home. That's called a gainer.